villager too much. Yeah, because I imagine that back air and forward air pretty much shut down a lot of um, Daisy and Peach's approaches when they're just trying to float cancel. It's likely very frustrating. Get yeah. in there. All right, so uh, starting off, game one. Yeah, this is very favorable for Blink because this matchup, Aegis, Whoa. we're already seeing. We're already seeing. She she just rushes you down. You don't have a lot of options to kind of just shut her down, especially when you're playing Villager. So I'm kind of very curious to see what kind of answers and solutions a lot is going to cook up for us. But we're seeing what Zero Blake is cooking. Zero deaths to start off game one of Grands. Now, Elam has definitely, like, room to breathe. Like, you know, he, he drops this set, whatever. Here, he's got another one. But even still, like, for uh, Blank to, like, you know, go start off, like, you know, just guns blazing. Firing at all cylinders. Yeah, this is a pretty explosive start to the set already with that zero to death. And you can see it out of Lom's just trying to get these straight hits in. And Blank is just waiting outside that range. Very patiently lying waits for them to just get that neutral air. Oh. Yeah, and a lot of things that I've noticed is that people have um caught on to a lot. Oh he said he said Oh shoot! Yeah no. Uh-uh. You're not surviving. And okay, you know what? Forty seven percent? Yeah, that's a pretty good clapback from a lot. Oh. 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 Oh, oh, oh my god. All right, relax, bro. Relax. I guess you're playing ages. Relax. Good <laughs> lord. Okay. Um, this, that was uh, quite the situation off stage, but both have walked away from it unscathed somehow. Um, yeah, and you know, I think the momentum is starting to go for Lom right now. Yeah, Elam like is clapping back really quickly. Only thirty percent difference, and like I you know, see. it's lessening. I think. Oh. When Blank switches to the Pyra, this is where it's time for Alam's time to shine. Yeah, I it, like if I'm, I. It's been said before. Aegis players make the mistake a lot of the time of switching to. Uh, okay, well he said, of, of switching to like you know Pyra when they still don't need to just because they want the kill. Wait, and then they start losing neutral like immediately. Yep, yeah, because they are. Oh my oh, God. Jesus. You cannot recover today, good sir. Get back to that platform. Yep, all right. Beautiful cover, uh, DI to the platform to just get that tech on in. But right now, it is still the Mithra show. Blank trying to just get the pyro. Excellent but, tech chase coming from Elam. Look where it's getting you right now. All that damage just for a pyro switch. Oh, that for a bit of drop of damage. Was it worth it? So far, Elon maintaining, like, you know, his game plan. Not letting a uh, blanket in. Honestly, I thought these back air and forward airs kind of wouldn't be a problem for um, Blank, but Blank is, Blank is respecting it a lot. Honestly, with the way this like match started, I thought Elam was like you know going to maybe like opt to not like show his hand like you know uh, this first set. Maybe he like you know take it easy a bit, it, like uh, not um and, and just observe his opponent so that he can like close out uh, in set two. But instead, it just seems like you know he's ready to like have this like end here now. However, Blank has something to say about it. Oh yeah, nice reaction, just getting out of the time for yep. that neutral B. And oh my god, the oh. tree! Oh, this is... Ooh. Oh, but a little bit of an overextension from uh -oh. Elon could be costly. Oh, mm. An up smash of an up B would have just done the trick. But Alam coming out unscathed right now. Blank switches to the Pyro, hoping to get this edge guard right now. And things might be looking real scary real quick oh, for Alam. Oh, stall in the air, saving Elon from certain no! death. However, that's not going wow! to kill it. Amazing DI, staying alive. You would think that up for that Pyra doing in so much damage would get that kill, but oh, no. Nope. Dash attack. Dash attack. It's mid stage though. He's not dead. He's not gone just quite yet. Ooh, trying to destroy the balloons. Not gonna find it though. Oh. Oh my God, that shield looking mighty low, almost to that skittle. Yeah, there's the F smash. That's gonna oh. do it. 
Man. Good foresight coming from uh, Blank to close out finally the uh, this game one. But oh my god, did he have to fight for it after what seemed like such a destructive start. I'm not going to lie, seeing that seeing that foresight on that man, that made me mad a little bit. I'm an Aegis main, but like, oh my god, that bro, bro just got robbed. <laughs> well, he pay, you know what? He paid $5.99 for that, I guess. $5.99. Spend a band to get a bag, if you know what I'm saying. Looks at the Sephiroth main right next to me. All right, calm down. <laughs> Looks at you. Um. So, game two. We're staying on PS2. I'm pretty sure. You're not. You're not. No, oh, wait. I am not Battle sure at all. I, I okay. am. I am completely unsure. I, did I say I was sure? I. I. I am mistaken. I'm sorry. What was that? What was that? Yeah. You can see Blink confidently more this time around, utilizing that foresight to get through the Lloyd Rockets this time around. Yeah, it's seemingly uh, cooking up some oh. uh, counterplay. Yeah, wow. Uh, Elon probably wants to do away with those really. Oh, oh, oh. I don't yeah. think Elon would have been able to find a kill that early because he was in a similar situation before. Very like uh, where he shield broke someone at 30%. Couldn't find anything to like kill him with it though. Yeah, much like the, uh, the start of last game, Blank is showing that dominance that he was at the However, beginning. This is not like a, this is not a zero to death like first game was. Let's like let, let's like dial it back a little bit because yeah. Whoa! Oh yep. no! Oh. By getting the down air and the conversion off the two down tilt, yep. you will be getting that kill off the forward air, putting Blank at a pretty solid lead too, and continuing this turn as well. Blank is calling out a lot of Elam's stuff right now. Oh wow! Elam's got the DI on that up B like solid. He is falling out of the second shot every single time. Oh, oh. that was that timing was phenomenal. That, the yeah, drag that, down that, too. That overextension like cost him. Yeah, that sixty-nine percent on Elam right now. Mm -hmm. Hold on, you might have the sixty-nine might have blessed real quick. All right. Blake said, "Okay, all right, I see. Like this is a this is a blessing in disguise. Oh, oh he's about God. to take some insane damage. Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 oh. You say no? Fight back! I got Kimindi. Yo, turn on the Hajime no Ippo real quick." Bro, fight oh. back! Fight back, bro! Oh. You can't even escape the ledge! Fight back! Oh. Bro, can't fight back! Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, alright. Oh, well, that was... Uh, that was a quick Oh my god! Oh, oh, The oh. tree negated F-Tilt! And... Oh my god. Okay, oh. alright. Oh, sweet. Wait, hold oh, on. Bro, what, what was bro away. cooking?! Oh. What?! Okay, well... That was, uh, game two. That was... That last dog was hella spaghetti. I, I don't even know how, what happened. Blank spaghetti themselves. Yeah, no, now, why, now you know why there's nothing in those parentheses. Bro self-sabotaged. Well, you know what? That's fine. Actually, no, it's not fine. You're you're the one in loser side. You you do not want to be dropping a game no, like we that. Take, we take those. We take those. Got robbed last time. Now you robbed yourself. Okay, well, uh, game. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Are we we doing this? Okay, we're doing this. We're doing this. We're gonna see how that magic happens with the queen, the prince, the princess over here on Kalos. All right, all right. Um, so start off game three. Uh, oh yeah, we're on Kalos. Interesting choice. Yeah, we were talking I, about how, like, you know, we all get off of, like, you know, PS2, but apparently uh, these two, like, you know, they don't mind the variety. Honestly, I imagine that um, they just want... Actually, I believe this is Blank stage pick, correct? Yes. I believe Blank kind of just wants to um, kind of keep a more centered, neutral focus since you base your platforms are off to the side. There's nowhere for you to kind of just escape. And this stage is pretty huge, so if you take some pretty solid hits, you're going to be hanging out for a really long time. Okay, but Elam doing what we thought we would, he would do in this situation. Yep. Just Farron, Farron and Baron. It's all you need. Slinging that shot, Farron and Aaron. All you need is fair. Um. Okay. However, Blank is still fighting back. Yeah, oh, and oh, this oh. time around, Lom is playing this match very, very good because, like we were saying before, I have. We also we called it. 
this is how you just do it. You just wall out your opponent, essentially. Not able to get the bowling ball, unfortunately, but you're just fair, you bear, you Lloyd Rocket, you set up a wall that makes it very hard for Daisy and Peach to yeah. kind of just get okay. in. And oh my what? god. Huh? Um, oh, the balloons. Oh, the balloons. Wow. Balloon sabotage. Yeah, the very good for like, Alami. Uh, the the uh, buff blast. <gasps> wow! What a conversion! Oh my god. I actually yeah, never seen wow. that before. That's why. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not. Elon telling the Blank that, hey, you're not going to hang above me with. Uh, while I have this, but uh, Blank even still responding really quick with a uh, down smash to close out that first stock. Yeah, get a checkmate real quick here at the ledge. Oh. Right now, Alam just trying to set up for the situation very well. Yeah, Blank knows. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not messing with that. Yeah, that tree, I ain't going anywhere near that tree. You could hit me with that axe, but that tree, nah, goodbye. I love the recognition to just throw out several bowling balls there because he's like, all right, Blank is just mashing options here, just trying to just threaten a button. So I'm just going to take the trade and just get the bowling ball damage here. And all right, you put yourself back in the corner, but with the dash attack, Blank is going to be getting out of that situation. And the forward air to set up for this nice edge garden here. Let's see if he can pass the trial again, once again. Oh, huh? Oh, uh, there are several things wrong with that interaction. But Alam coming out on top here. Okay. Oh. Also, I'm sorry to see why. Um. You know what? Wait, does Villager have a wall jump or am I bugging? Yes, he does. Oh my God! This why? is I don't, this is pretty. I don't. Wait, why would you take him here? I, I, I don't know why, I, like, Villager honestly, has a wall jump. I, like, I, there is nothing in AC lore that, like, explains Villager having a wall jump. But here we are. Honestly, if if a character has a wall jump, I feel like I never want to give them... I never want to take them to Kalos. Because it gives them a lot of new options to their recovery routes and, like, mix-ups for their get-ups as well. It's... I mean, yeah, I would... I would like, there's a lot of wall jump characters that I would happen to not take to uh, Kalos. Grenadier. Except... Like, I think maybe I would take... Uh, actually, no, fuck that. I wouldn't take Cloud uh, Kalos. No, Hell no. Nah. I ain't taking Cloud the Kalos. But sometimes you gotta pick your poison. If you gotta take the Kalos, then so be it. Oh. Okay, Blake able to finally close that stock out with the Nair. And that tree still threatening and lingering Whoa! on! And so it oh. goes. And so it goes. Bro was not over 25. He shouldn't have been playing that game. Oh. Listen, you gotta, sometimes you gotta get in there. But when you're at one, when you're at a situation like that, that is not the time to get in there. I understand playing in your opponent's threat range like that, but they, they already set up the set play. You don't mess, you don't mess with set play. Elam is ready to see this, like, you know, uh, through like he's ready to just end it right here all right game number four and i honestly i don't see this going to a game five based on how this is going before but you know what maybe blank needed a second to kind of readjust you know maybe get some thinking on with the daisy uh -oh. okay because the pirate the mithra they usually have pretty phenomenal Red starts so to far these sets. Coming from Blank. Um, and it's getting mimicked once again, but hold on, the switch to Pyra might be costing Blank a pretty a lot of damage here. As you can see that Blank is struggling to pretty much get in. Yeah, I don't know why he's uh, switched to uh Kira here. It's too early anyway. Honestly, sometimes you're feeling it, you trust yourself, and you're like, hmm, I think Pyra is the good choice here. And honestly, she's a very good character. She threatens so many buttons and quite a lot of space, but sometimes you just, you gotta... Oh, 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 you're done. Oh, you're God. No. What? Oh, wow. What? Okay. A little bit of a scramble, but the mash out. Blank's able to come out unscathed. But you you're can't done. be listening you're to dead. the Green you're Goblin dead. in your head. Yeah, I know. No, you did yourself in. I honestly, I hate that. I hate when Town City platform, or platforms in general, just doesn't catch my lightning bump, or my, um, my side beat. It's so annoying. Like, let me land, bro. I 
I paid $5.99 for a good reason. I need to recover with this damn character. Alright, very threatening option this time around, but oof. Very smartly played by Blank there in that situation. Able to close that sock out with the F smash. Playing off the tree as well. All right, back air train all across the town. Welcome to the city. We're seeing all the sights out here. Blank is your Uber driver for today. And okay, Blank is showing a very dominant presence in the set right now. Taking it along for a nice stroll. Oh, and the down there finally hitting that. Great the uh, space there. Mm -hmm. And right now, Blank. I just has to keep up the sizable lead and just tack on the percent to Alam, not letting Alam have any momentum to kind of just come back, which is pretty hard Whoa. when you're playing against Villager. Okay. Yep, not running into the tree this time around. Blank still holding onto the stock here. Just trying to continue oh. that turbo. Ooh. Fumbles, big time. Yeah, I think he expected stuck on that uh, Elam to uh, roll behind him, but uh, and tried to down tilt it as a result. But you can't be like, you know, uh, you have to play reactively. Like, yeah, those Talon City Blast Zones, they are pretty short, so a backer like that is going to do the job if you're not very careful like that. Yeah, there it is right there. Oh, but he oh. misses the conversion off the down tilt that he found. Yeah, Alam is just wanting out of these situations. And it's... You're just getting stringed along by Mithra. These, the percentage is just tacking on up. It's weird. It, it like... I feel like Blank, yes, he is in like, you know, a percent advantage right now, but oh. yet it just feels like any minute now, uh, Elam is going to like, you know, get it like, you know, in his head and uh, blow him up. I don't know. Yeah, once you get the answer. He does find it though. He does find it. Blank does like, you know, close out like, you know, this game four to bring it to a game five. Yeah, Lloyd Rocket, it seems that everyone has, everyone who's fought a lob has pretty much caught on to like catching Lloyd Rocket on startup, mm -hmm. which is the thing that kind of does him in. You really just can't throw it out in front of people's faces. You gotta do it from a certain distance, which is pretty hard. It's, it's a hard task given, especially when you're playing Mithra, when she can just run up in your face and push any button she wants. But we're going to game five, taking it to Smashville. I, this is pretty scary. This is pretty scary. I don't know what combos that Elam got cooking up in the back pocket on this tap, but I know that Mithra, Mithra loves the stage. She she loves having that close kind of, I can just get in there and just do work, but that hold up! Zero to death real quick, Elam is doing the work right now. Trying to catch him outside after hours, god damn! Bro, oh like... All it took was one, like, you know, uh, catch a, of uh, <laughs> Blank's jump, and that was, all, that was All it. right, we're running oh, it back, run it dead. back, run he's it dead. back. Hanging out to the jump this time. Nope, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Hold on. Hold up. Okay. Oh, he's, is he, is he? Yeah, oh, he's my. He's dead, he's done. No, that's it. No, wait, oh. Okay, whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, no, whoa, the whoa, tech whoa. coverage. Okay. I didn't really Hold get up, oh, my God. Hold on, the JV would go crazy, but unfortunately we're not gonna get it because Blank triggering that 599 foresight at 599 witch time. Dude, Elam is terrifying this game five. Holy shit! Bro, this is this is so threatening. I mean, it's really you just can't jump, and if you air dodge there, it's gonna trigger foresight and just gonna fastball to your oh, death. Oh yeah, Blank wanted it all right there. Couldn't. Close it though. Yeah, Bl Blank wants something. I hate to just put the back of the it, gate, it, but it, look it, at that alarm. Look at that villager. Dude, look at those eyes. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. I'm sorry. Wrap it up. It, like, th th this is like, th this is kind of just brutal at this point. Look at this crazy axe wielding villager right now. That tree. Oh my. Wow. That tree actually did not hit the shield. I'm, I'm very impressed. I just feel like Elam's like one grab away from closing us up. Oh, oh. but the. Oh, okay. The uh, giant. The Lloyd Rocket actually extending the, uh... Okay, here we go. Running is, back the simulation. Is Bro dead? And I like how Alam staggered the uh, the forward air there to okay, right. bait out that air dodge, but Blank of course he was not able to get it. Maybe I maybe I was calling it too soon. Looks like uh, Blank is, like, you know, trying to uh, stay alive here. Yeah, it is Mithra. She can get pretty solid, especially very early kills if you get that downer off, but Blank 
not able to get it in this situation. Switch it back to the Mithra, just trying to get that damage kind of run up in there. Set up another ledge trapping situation. As you can see, Blake just switching onto the Pyra, just trying to go out there forward, forward air, but it is not happening. Yep, expecting a uh, blank to run right into the uh, bowling ball. Not quite happening though. Yep, this is not the Looney Tunes show here today, but hold up. Not dead. Trying to get the up smash out of the down smash. This is oh, Blank's last hurrah here at the ledge. Let's see. This is, I don't know, man. This is a very scary situation for Blank right now. Honestly, you can two frame Pyro with the, um, the watering can and You'll make your opponent just feel so bad about it. Bro is trying to chop a <laughs> blank off with half. their head, bro. Five ninety nine. Get this five ninety nine out of here. This is the re oh, good okay. Call out, though. Good call out. Okay, it's last stock. Lloyd Rocket Blake still just not being a Fury could do this. Yeah, and Lloyd Rocket has just not been. Oh, okay, hold on. Who the? Okay, that was very good. That was very good coming from Blake. Yeah, Lloyd Rocket has not been a lot. That's spread. it. Yeah, I'm gonna pretty light. All right, and Elam takes Encore, uh, number what? Uh, One eighty-two, I believe. Well, regardless, great stuff coming from both. Very entertaining uh, grand finals. Uh, yeah.